The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Yeah, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to start out with the German DAX like we usually do. As you can see, we completed the small Gartley here on the 15-minute uh, chart. But we've got some bigger things to, to work on today, and we'll get through with this uh, next one, which is the FTSE. As you'll notice here, the FTSE is a potential here of making a larger Gartley on the daily price, but that's down about 200 uh, points from uh, where we are. Excuse me. Yeah, 200 points where we are now. So that, that'll that probably take a few days if it does fill. The one that I would like to talk about today is uh, the potential program, when, the program we're going to have for next week. Uh, by the way, we're going to have Norm Winsky on today at the break. That's always a lot of fun. But next week, we're going to have a really special report. We're going to have Rich Anderson from Anderson Capital Management on at the same time as Sim only of Sylvia's Financial Futures. And uh, that'll be a really good show because both these guys understand the agriculturals and what's going on with some of these tariffs and stuff as, as well as anybody. Uh, those of you that uh, remember Rich Anderson the last time he was on just a few weeks ago, uh, we were looking at this potential three drive to a bottom in uh, the, the December hogs down at the cost of production right around 44 cents. And as you can see here, that it's had a tremendous rally here. We're out well over $4,000 now uh, in the hogs here just in the last few days. You'll notice what happened yesterday. The market gapped up about 150 points and went limit bid. In other words, there was more buyers up there than there were sellers. So usually that means the market will open higher today. Now, whether this is related to the tariffs or not, or this potential Chinese thing, uh, really we don't know. But what we are watching is the fact that this thing gapped above that 78% level. And once it did that, that usually means that the market wants to go to that next level, which is uh, you know quite a bit, uh, quite a bit higher. So. We should uh, pay attention to that one. By the way, let's take a look at this soybean market since we're talking about tariffs and everything. You'll notice here, this happens to be just a five-minute chart over the last four days, but you'll notice that we completed a perfect ABCD pattern uh, up here at the uh, 898 level. We're trading around 894 right now. And the important thing is, look at where the bearish crop report was back here on August the 12th, folks. Uh, we are actually trading at that same level. In other words, the market has totally disregarded that bearish report now, and it was extremely bearish report. So there's something else going on here in the soybean market that we need to watch uh, very, very closely. Now, those of you that, you know, do the... Um, uh, w or the TFNN letter, the 24/7. You know that we bought the beans down at that 832 level the first time. We sold them out at 890, and then we bought them back at 865, and uh, we had a heck of a run on this one. And we got out of those today at uh, 895, and so we're waiting to see a nice little pullback of about oh 20 cents, and probably try to buy them at that 80 80, 80 level again if we do get that chance. But it's acting very bullish is the fact that it's taken all that bearish news and basically absorbed it into the market. That's a pretty good sign. We've seen the same thing happening in the corn market. That's also a very, very positive thing. Now, I wanted to move on to some major things in the news because we hear about them all the time. I just want to give you the technical uh, two cents worth of you know what we're looking at when we're watching these things. So if we'll take a quick look here, well, it won't be that quick a look, but we want to watch the, uh, get this up here. Hold on one second. The first one right here is Walmart because the Dow was up 400 points yesterday. More than 200 of those points, I believe, was Walmart. But what's interesting, you'll notice that the Walmart went up and stopped right at the 61% retracement. In fact, it closed under it. Uh, the 61% retracement was at $99 a share. It closed at uh, 98.64, and that that's a huge gap up, folks. And you'll notice that uh, the, the, usually the gaps will be filled here uh, in the um, Walmart. In fact, we just filled one yesterday. But the fact that it didn't close sharply higher and it's not higher this morning uh, makes me wonder that maybe this is a uh, was a blow-off type move 
but uh, the news was certainly there and it pushed it up a lot. So watch it. That's a huge gap here of 10% in, NAS in the, yes, in, <laughs> in the uh, Walmart. So we want to keep an eye on it. Hey, by the way, uh, let's also kudos to uh, um, Mr. Uh, Rhodes for covering for me uh, when I've had this um, little bit of allergies that I've had. So I certainly appreciate his work and he does a, just a super job and he, he's just a great, uh, great person also. Let's move on to a couple other ones that we want to be watching here. Uh, the next one here is the skinny on the E-mini, as Himereti would say. We'll put this up here. You'll notice yesterday with the big blow off that we had in the uh, Dow Jones Industrials, we got all the way up to 78% retracement at the uh, 2850 level. Right now we're trading around 2840, I believe. So we backed off a little bit from that level. Now the NASDAQ has been lagging badly. Uh, it can only make a 61% retracement of that move. It did it exactly to the exact tick. If you get the videos from TFNN, you'll notice that we were following that you know, very, very closely to say that there was still this huge divergence that we saw you know, going on in the market quite a bit. Here is the chart of that NASDAQ as we were watching it yesterday. You'll, we'll put it up so you can take a look at it. You'll notice that it stopped right at the 61% retracement. And we've had lower highs ever since uh, August the 9th. And uh, so that is, in fact, I think very, very interesting to pay attention to that. Now, remember now that the S&P took out the highs from the 10th of August, where we did not do that in the NASDAQ. And the NASDAQ has been the leader of the pack. So that's a possibility that this two-tier market that we've been looking at, maybe it's starting to roll over a little bit. But the news is certainly out there everywhere, and people are paying a lot of attention to it. So it's something I think we should uh, you know, pay really, really close attention to because it's uh, uh, the news does follow the trend, and we want to see uh, what's going on. You know, with uh, with some of these other markets that we're that we're following here, we when, we don't have enough time to cover the uh, the gold and silver uh, right off the bat. But the one thing I do want to cover uh, before we get to the break here is this Treasury bond market. Uh, you'll notice here uh, we were looking for a rally this week. We've got a pretty good rally. I think we could get up to this 147 and change level. Uh, you'll notice that that's made a perfect head and shoulders pattern. That is textbook. Left shoulder, right shoulders are equal. The time distance between left shoulder, right shoulder equal. Great symmetry. And the ABCD structure on this measures to 147. We're trading close to 145 right now. So a couple more points would get that up there to that level that would give a really nice uh, ABCD structure in a bear market, which I think would be a, a selling opportunity because longer term rates certainly look like they want to go you know, a great deal uh, higher and, and not lower. So those are a few of the things that we're, we're watching. I have a couple questions that we'll answer uh, after the break, but don't forget we do have Norm Winsky coming up at the uh, half hour uh, to give us some really good information as always. And then we will continue on with the program right after we pay a few bills here for TFNN. And um, I think I hear the music. Maybe I don't. Uh -oh, maybe I'm a little early. Uh-oh, uh-oh. There we go. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. The Taz Profile Scanner Plus, developed by John Logan and his team, is a standalone piece of software that can change the way you trade. Let the Taz Profile Scanner work for you by scanning over 5,000 financial instruments such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and forex. Right now, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Taz Profile Scanner Plus right at TFNN.com. And when you sign up, you gain instant access to John Logan its most recent webinar, How Price, Volume, and Time Make Market Profiles So Unique. This hour-long webinar with John Logan will walk you through the most powerful features of the scanner and how you can use it to become a more successful and profitable trader. You pay absolutely nothing for 30 days while you try out this software risk-free. For more information on the Taz Profile Scanner and to get your 30-day free trial today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. 
Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance, David White's daily market letter, gives you trade recommendations based on David's proprietary power law vector indicator that put the odds of success overwhelmingly in your favor. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price for each stock and option trade. David combines his years of trading experience along with his background in technology and computing to offer his subscribers his take on the markets on a daily basis. Every trading day by 9.30, David publishes his morning issue of the Path of Least Resistance, along with updates sent out throughout the week whenever there is new, actionable trading information. All new subscribers receive a 30-day, no-questions-asked, money-back guarantee. To sign up for David White's daily trading newsletter right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com, and you'll find the Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and I've had a request to take a look at Facebook. Uh, I would like to bring this to your attention here because uh, this has been a pretty active stock. You know, we had a big 20% pop on this thing. Uh, from the two, uh, 220 level, we got all the way down to the 165. We rallied up to the uh, 61, excuse me, the 1.618 expansion of the past four days high. That took you to the 382 level at 185. We're now trading at 174. That's down at the 61% retracement, folks. This could be the definition of a dead cat bounce. If you'll notice that when they, it bottomed on the 30th of July, it rallied up until the 6th of August. And that was nothing more than a very, very minor 382 retracement. We have now come down to test the 61% retracement and fill that big gap that was there. And if it doesn't hold here, folks, uh, you're going to be looking at a much, much lower price in Facebook. The ABCD structure on this from the high at 220 down to 164, that's roughly $60. And if you subtract $60 from 220, you know, that's going to take you down to about 160. So you could drop another 10% here in Facebook without any trouble at all. Because uh, what, you know, what the market gives you, the market can take away. And we know that prices go down, you know, faster than they go up. And I think that's an important thing uh, that we should remember as we're, as we're looking at uh, uh, some of these things. Now, another one that's in the news, and believe me, folks, I don't know anything about the fundamentals. All I'm doing is looking at these charts. But here again, we're looking at Tesla. You'll notice when we, we got to the high up here at the 388 level, there were a uh, beautiful ABCD pattern there. There were actually two of them coming in at that level, which made it a double top from way back in September, almost to the exact penny. And what we've done now is we assumed that if that top was correct at 382, the pullback would take us down to this important support, which is around 322. And I just saw uh, Facebook, uh, Tesla cross the tape here at 325, so it's within $3, uh, $2.5 from that level. Now, 
That's going to be important support because it's the 61% retracement of the low back on August, uh, July the 30th. And that also makes that a, a, comb a combination of a 135 pattern where you've had these higher bottoms. So if Tesla is bullish, it should hold that 322 level without too much trouble. But if it doesn't, then uh, that's going to be a whole different ball game because anything below $300 a share would say that there's something wrong in the overall structure of what the chart pattern is telling us in Tesla. And remember, it's a, it's just a price pattern, folks. It has nothing to do with the things that are in the fundamentals of the market because, you know, nobody knows what those things are. And we're just trying to interpret what we see in the charts, uh, what what might be going on in the news. Let's switch over for, for just a moment here uh, to the U.S. dollar because uh, we're at a very, very critical level. I want to bring this U.S. dollar up to let you folks take a look at it here because uh, we've broken out of that big level that we were watching. And uh, that is an incredibly important level up here at this 97 level. You see that 1.618 level. We went up and touched that over the last day or so. But the easiest way, you know, to look at this is through the eyes of the euro. And let's just bring this euro up and spend some time with this, folks, because this is the most heavily traded thing in the world. And this is uh, what we're watching here. Um, this is what we brought to your attention on Monday. You'll notice that the big ABCD pattern that we had stopped right at that 113. It hit it exactly. It didn't even trade at 112.99, folks. So it uh, it's really had a very good rally here for, for three days. We did the same rally, if you'll notice here, uh, over the past two times. You'll see those marks where it says equal rallies. Each one of those rallies were exactly equal, just like the one we had last night to 114.10. But if we can get this market above the 114.55, that is going to be a really, really important level. And the reason why is because it would exceed the rally high of the last three rallies that we had since the, the August the 1st. And that would tell us there's a possibility on the long-term weekly chart of the dollar index that we could be looking at something that could be uh, actually quite bearish. Even though it had the breakout to the upside, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be following through. Now, I'm going to cover that uh, very, very extensively in the newsletter this weekend. I want to get today's prices in to make sure that it completes where I think it's going to, but we're at a very, very interesting spot. And the fact that we have Norm Winsky come on, on today talking to us about some really key astro points is going to be interesting. And there's the, another question that came up is about the astrology and how much I use it. Folks, I, I use it in the background. Uh, I watch things like the full moons and new moons, eclipses and super full moons. I watch watch those very, very closely because they fall into, you know, the normal trading patterns that I look at, which are usually five-hour patterns, uh, four-hour patterns, uh, and, you know, 60-minute charts. I'm a relatively, uh, you know, I look at daily charts and I look at the weekly charts, but I'm risk control. I'm a risk control freak, more or less. So what I like to do is to see how much I have to risk to see if I'm going to see if this is going to hold or not. But that's the, the real reason. It's all about risk control. It's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose. And that's what we're really looking at. Yes, I'm, uh, Mr. Z is talking about that price level of 1189, 1190, and that gold. That's really important. The fact that we had a $22 rally off of that bottom was a good point, but we never went any higher than that. But also, we couldn't back any more back off any more than a 382 retracement. We've only been able to make an $8 retracement here, excuse me, $10 retracement here on gold. So I'd be watching for the gold to make either 11 or $17 retracement. And that $17 retracement, if it came really fast, I would certainly be looking to buy that one because I think that market's got a chance. The open interest is actually starting to turn positive now, and it does look like it's got some possibilities. Now, regarding the silver, uh, those of you that uh, belong to the 24-7 letter, letter, you'll notice that we bought silver two days ago, uh, the December silver, four cents off the bottom, which was a 1.618 expansion. We risked almost nothing on that, and fortunately, uh, it turned in our favor. What we're going to do now is keep our stop at break even on that and to see if it uh, has a chance to have some legs here because the long-term pattern uh, in the silver has been completed. Uh, we, we always thought that it had a chance to go below $15 an ounce. And once once that happened, uh, when I was talking here Tuesday, which was the last time I was on, I said that would be the time to start buying 
you know, the, the, uh, the one ounce silver rounds, because I think those are good for gifts, they're good for just putting away for a rainy day. But um, that's what it looks like on a long-term basis. The uh, market should hold this level. Any move below that 1160 area in the, the, the December gold would be extremely bearish. And also anything below $15, uh, 1440 in the silver would also be very bearish. And that would bring in a possibility of major deflation, folks. And that's not going to be good anywhere because it's nice if prices can stay equal or maybe slightly inflated like the Federal Reserve likes to see. But when they start deflating, that means there's not much demand out there. And that's where the problems lie. And you don't want to have anything to do with that kind of stuff. And we're seeing it in a lot of things. Look at coffee prices, folks. I mean, coffee prices have, you know, plummeted down quite a bit. We've got sugar at a, you know, a big double bottom. I mean, there's some big stuff going on out there we need to pay attention to. Norm Winsky coming up, folks. Stay tuned. 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have our good friend Norm Winsky of Astro Trend on the line. Norm, are you there? I hear Norm. Hello. Norm, Larry Pesavent here. How are you? Hello? 
don't know if you can hear me or not. Yes, yes I, I can, can hear you. I can okay. hear you. You're kind of breaking up, you know. Are we? Are oh, we? Uh, did we start our segment yet? You're in. Go ahead. You're in. You're oh, in I charge. Heard. All right. Let me make sure I got my screen share going there. Let's see. Screen share. Share that. All right. There we go. I got my charts up now. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. Sounds like we're we're back on track. All right. Uh, did you introduce me? No, no one knows who you are, but they're going to guess as we go along. Of course we know who you are. It's like listening no, to Johnny I Carson. Hear, I couldn't hear that part. <laughs> I couldn't hear that part. So. Okay, go right, ahead. Anyway, so I was on your show last week, last Friday on the 10th, and uh, you couldn't get enough of me, right, Larry? And so uh, I'm back again. And so uh, just a few days before that, we had some big astro, uh, big astro event happen with, uh, the, you know, the uh, for those who are new, uh, from the point of view of the Earth, the planets uh, look like they stop their motion and reverse their direction when they stop. That's called a station point, and that tends to be a big thing for the markets. Um, I have a rule that when the planets change trend, the markets change trend. Now, you know, just so you don't think I'm crazy, which, you know, you could make a good argument for that. Looking <laughs> down at the solar system, uh, you know, the planets aren't physically doing that, but relative to the Earth, they are. I think Mr. Einstein would argue that that's important if your role's position is changing to the other bodies in the system here. You know, so that uh, changes the energy field. So let's go look a look at uh, the night or the early morning or night of the sixth, early morning of the seventh. We had Uranus turn retrograde. It stopped and turned retrograde in the early hours of the seventh. Let's see what that had and her and that occurred in the planet of Trigon. That occurred in the sign Taurus the bull. That might have something to do with cattle. You know, like, well, that's a wild guess, you know. Well, let's mm -hmm. go take a look at cattle. There you go. There's your point right there. It's a beautiful top for cattle. Right to the day. There's the seventh where my green arrow is. So that's pretty good. Cotton is also uh, re related to that. And so let's go take a look at the cotton. There you go. Not as quite, not quite as obvious as the cattle. But also still a nice, pretty nice top there before it rolled over and started going down, down, down. Uh, the copper, I was off by two days. You can see it over there on the night, how it topped. And so I had to mark that one red for a miss because I was off by two days. I allow one day. I got to be right with one day or it's wrong. Mm -hmm. All right, moving ahead. Here's your stock market. We made a top there on the 7th for the S&P. And there it is with the green arrow there that we rolled over. So now we're going to next, we're going to talk about I was on Friday, just ahead of the Saturday, the 11th, solar eclipse, and now we're going to go look at those points. There's your solar eclipse there for the stock market. It made a low that Monday, just following the, the uh, next trading day. After the solar eclipse, we made a little bit of short-term low there. It didn't last more than a day or so, but uh, that was still good. And let's see, now let's go look at corn, the grains I said. I was on there Friday, and there was a crop report due out, and I said, well, whatever the crop report is due to the solar eclipse over the weekend, the crop report will probably be wrong. It'll probably all get reversed by Monday, and there it is. There's your corn made a high on the, the 9th, the 10th, and then boom, there's your crop report big down, and then on Monday, you you could buy it on the lows, and the market went up, and then you could make money. So I don't know why anybody looks at those crop reports. That's my opinion. But there you go. Here's your gold. Gold actually made a little bit of a top there, or just uh, right on the just ahead of the solar eclipse, and it rolled over. And here's I had a special run for you, Larry, because you you had a special day not too long ago, and we threw in the OJ because the uh, what was it uh, Billy Ray and uh, Lewis told right. me I should uh, concentrate on this, you know. Well, we listen so to Clarence here. Beaks. We get those reports early from Clarence Beaks, of course. He's with the, the Duke brothers, right? Yeah, he was the guy that worked for the uh, Department of Justice, the one of the co oh, yeah, guys, yeah. you it's know, been a long, that got, a long got time married to I've one of the gorillas. All right, there you go. It's a long <laughs> time since I've seen the movie also. Anyway, you can see here how we broke down out of this little trading range, where it had an acceleration to the downside on the OJ. So it was kind of melting on the uh, frozen OJ there, you know. Mm. And then we had the silver, also like the gold, made a little top there just ahead of the solar eclipse, and then down, down, down we went. Here's your T-bonds. They made a short-term top right there ahead of the solar eclipse. There's your U.S. dollar. It kind of it did both. 
They made a top just ahead of the solar eclipse, and then a bottom on Monday the 13th. They made a nice bottom, so you kind of stretch, you know, kind of got both sides, you know. Uh, moving ahead here, we also had that weekend. We had Mars turn retrograde. Oh no, I take that back. We had Mars. It, you know, it was already retrograde, traveling backwards through the zodiac, and it left Aquarius and entered Capricorn. Mars is said to be the energizer, planet energizer. <laughs> so you might, you might guess that maybe as Mars leaves Aquarius, it might leave uh, some uh, copper is associated with Aquarius. The copper market might le lose some energy, and there's what happened right there. As we, uh, that gold, green arrow there was uh, kind of just uh, one day past the top, and then the copper rolled over, and we went to new time, new, I think, multi month lows there. Uh, in the fall, ensuing week. Here's your coffee, and because it, we went into Mars, went into Capricorn, we should look at the coffee market, and then it broke its uh, trading channel right there, that higher green line, and we accelerated to the downside. Okay, so now I'm looking ahead, here's what's coming up this weekend. We have uh, Venus cycle. Uh, it's uh, one of the these, some of these uh, these uh, bodies have various extreme points in their cycle. Venus is going to reach one of those. Uh, it's actually late this afternoon, so for most markets, they'll be after the close. And so you want to watch the cattle, cotton, copper, cotton, stock, sugar, and wheat. How do you catch? How do we find a good winning trade, Larry? The answer to that is we want to find a market that, that one of the markets that indicated astrologically at that time that is at an extreme position and ripe for a reversal. And then the planets will help us identify that market. So we're on, on our watch list. Doesn't guarantee you're going to get a good trade. You take a look at that, these markets and see what position they're in. But we're these. Whoa, whoa, that's wait what's a minute. Up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You said there's no guarantees? Yeah, but I do have the. When did uh, you uh, add this to the program? I thought everything <laughs> was guaranteed. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Yep, yep. It's just it's just tell it's like a, a opportunity finder tells you where you might find opportunity. Then we look at the chart and see what position it's in. So let's go look at our sugar now. We already looked at the cattle, and we can go back here and look at these markets. The cattle. Let's see. Let's, we'll go back and look at cattle real quick. Zip, zip, zip. Back to the cattle. You can see the cattle. I'm glad we did that. And if the cattle would come back down a little bit. We'd be back to the bottom of the channel. I think that's your best. Uh, would be the ideal position for the cattle to to uh, find, get a good opportunity and if it comes down here into the weekend that would be a potential buy but i guess we're going to have a little music and we got to pay some bills, pay some we bills. Pay some right? bills. Pay those yes. bills amen we'll be right back with norm winsky of astro trend 877-927-6648 You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. 
Swim lessons from TD Ameritrade Think or Swim is now at 11 a.m. Followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, Trade LABU or LABD. Directions Daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, brought to you by Nadex, next on TFNN. Okay, we're back, folks, with Norm Winsky of AstroTran. Norm, tell us a little bit more about this aspects that are happening today. Um, okay, when, when we went to the break, I was talking about some markets associated with Venus. There's a Venus cycle this weekend. So let's just see uh, if we can find some markets that uh, how they might set up to optimum entries, right? So we're looking at the cattle. If we can get the cattle, maybe the pull back down about a handle or so, you'd be back down to the t bottom of the channel. That could be a potential low risk entry for the cows mm -hmm. here's your cotton here cotton is kind of kind of going sideways uh, bumping up against the top of its channel you could possibly sell it there but by the end of the day you need to see where we're at i i would prefer to see it pull down here to the bottom of the channel so that you got to mm -hmm. like that'd be a pretty good drop though so it's probably probably not likely so probably your best bet is to sell there i like the i like the cow the uh, cattle trade a little better and here's your copper. It's been uh, bouncing off the, its uh, lows there. So if it pulled back down and retested its lows, that could be a good entry point there. Here's mm -hmm. your S&P. S&P S&P is a bit problematic. It's been a wild whipsaw here in the last two days. Uh, you know, went down, made a new low for the month, and uh, now we went back up and retested the uh, recent highs yesterday. But now we're when I last looked, we were pulling back down again toward the middle of the range. And you know, I don't like the middle of the range because then we don't know. You know, it's all this. Uh, this is all partially mm -hmm. based on Newton's law. For every action, there's an opposite, equal reaction. Mm -hmm. And if we don't get the market to some extreme, probably not going to have much of a reaction. So the, in the middle there, I just don't know what to do with it. So you take a pass if that happens. But mm -hmm. hopefully, by the end of the day, we'll be at one extreme or the other. You know. Mm -hmm. All right, there's your. Uh, we're going to move ahead now. So let's see what the rest of our Venus list. We had those in the beginning there, so I can re re recycle those charts mm -hmm. and double duty. Uh, let's see, we got the cattle cotton of uh, stocks. We looked at those. We got sugar and wheat to go. Here's your sugar chart. As you mentioned, we we're scraping bottom there on the sugar. Be nice to have it pull back just a little bit, get back to toward the bottom of this channel. That would be an ideal entry, possibly for sugar, low risk uh, on the sugar. Uh, soybeans are kind of near their top if they pop up a little bit. They'd be near the top of this channel here, or if they pull down, then I'd be looking at the more interest in buying them. You know. Mm -hmm. All right. So we we've, we've we've got a uh, we've got a question from one of our listeners, uh, and that is uh, regarding uh, some things that were done by Frank Tauscher of the Super Traders Almanac uh, many years ago from Tulsa, Oklahoma. He used this thing that uh, Dr. Miller worked on that she she named it well she made me name it the Pesavento Index, and that means the number of aspects that hit, you know, based on a bell-shaped curve. You know, if we have uh, three or less, it's in the 95 percentile or 14 or more. Do you ever look at that, Norm, as far as uh, anything uh, important in the markets? Well, I'm looking at it indirectly. I'm doing my thing. I'm doing my math, you know. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's not like a man, you know, I add up all the planets, you know, we, how mm -hmm. low do you go? Do you look at little moon aspects during the day? 
Anyway, I just look at the top. I'm I'm presenting the bigger picture here with the bigger uh, planetary cycle. So we got some big, important planetary cycles coming up this weekend. That's what we're talking about now. So there's the beans. There's the wheat. It's going been going sideways. Kind of hard to say what that's all the wheat's all about right now. But uh, mm -hmm. there you go. So I just thought I'd take a quick review of where the markets are. Uh, we also have some cycles coming up for uh, corn, gold, oats, OJ, soybeans. There's a glimmer of hope here for the, the gold bugs. You know, the gold's been mm -hmm. down, 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 sick, sick, sick. Uh, but we mm -hmm. do have Mercury turning the direct in Leo. And so these are the markets you want to keep an eye on, corn, gold. Uh, we don't care about oats, probably. OJ, soybean stocks mm -hmm. and wheat. So we looked at, already looked at some of those. Let's, let's scroll down well, here. Norm, when, when does it uh, turn direct into Leo Mercury? When I is think that? that's this weekend. I think it's after. And I have it right here. I eight seventeen AC is after the close, so it'd be over the over the weekend. Okay, that's yeah. it. It's close enough. Yeah, so okay. we have a possibility. Okay. We'll look at the. I think we got the. Oh, we ha got the gold chart back here. That's right. Gold, gold, gold. I got. Gold, it. I'll gold. put the gold chart up here so we can. Here, take I got a the look gold chart it. right there. There we go. So we're getting. To, we're real close to the. As you know, real close to the bottom of the recent lows here. It would be nice to see the gold pull back just a little bit into the weekend here and then yeah, i think it'd be possibly set up for a little i don't think it's long-term bottom i think the long-term bottom i come this fall about november i have a long-term cycle for a possible low in gold like november but you know, in the short term you might get a little short-term rally here off of this cycle if it sets up right mm -hmm. okay let's go look at uh the other cycles here now so we have uh, gold, OJ, soybeans, stocks. I think we looked at all of those. Now we need to look at the cocoa and the hogs and and oil. Those are the three that we haven't looked at yet. There's your, we did the sugar. We did that. We did that. Here's your cocoa. Cocoa's been going sideways, scraping bottom here. It would be nice. I'd like to see the cocoa pull back a little bit into the weekend here. And then you might have a low-risk buy on the cocoa. The hogs, as you mentioned, have broken out of their channel, their basing channel here. I was also bullish on the hogs down here at the lows. I was making jokes about the hogs searching for their trough. I remember it? that joke. It it almost made it to Conan, but it didn't quite make it. It made it uh, onto Jimmy Fallon, but not Conan. But, but keep up go. the good work. <laughs> he was, Jimmy is uh, Fallon again. So there we go. Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. So anyway, so I wouldn't be too thrilled that you just having just broken out of a base. I wouldn't be too thrilled about going short here, but if we pull back here, back into the base, might be okay to buy the hogs. You know, we can pull back mm -hmm. today into the weekend again. And here's your crude oil. A crude oil is you know, closer to the bottom than the top. And so, again, if we could pull back a couple of bucks here in the crude oil, that would be ideal. Not saying these markets are going to do that, but that's what we're looking for. You get one of these, a couple of these ideal setups, and that could make your week, you know? That's uh, right. It's, now, now, a week from now, the next weekend, I probably, I probably won't be back next week. And so, because of the bad jokes, you know. And so. Uh, <laughs> You're pretty right. That's okay. <laughs> no, but next weekend we have the full moon and we have a Mercury doing a, a have a Mercury cycle. We have a Mercury hitting an extreme. So, we'll be, uh, both of those indicate your grains, corn, oats, soybeans. And of course, the stock market is the big basket of everything, so it always is activated if you have anything important, and wheat. And then we're also got the full moon in Pisces, which indicates you want to be looking at your oil. So, and plus your usual suspects for the full moons are financial grains and precious metals. And so that's pretty much it. And now if anybody has any questions about my work, I'd be happy to entertain those. We might, if we have another minute or two to go, let me know when we get getting what get into the wind down time here so I can tell the folks how to get the free stuff. Okay, the question that someone's asking is, uh, do you keep a flow sheet each day uh, of what you're looking for on that particular day? How many different things are you looking at at any particular time? Like today's Friday, how many markets are you watching today? Well, my letter covers 30 markets. When you take my class, yeah. you learn how to read. I have a calendar that shows you where all, or the different, uh, or the different planetary energy is for all those markets and uh, and you know and there's a gradient so it shows you where the big where the you can glance at that in a matter of seconds and tell where the t big energy is for any market at, at any time in the month you know mm -hmm. so uh, i can turn you into a supercomputer in a, in a short amount of time 
when you take my free okay. class. Okay, we got to take a break. I want you to stay with us, okay? Because I have one yes, other sir. question for one of our listeners, and we want to ask you how we could possibly, possibly get in touch with you if you improve your jokes. We'll be okay. right back. 877-927-6648. Norm Winsky, Astro Trends. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last Last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the X. SAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Norm Winsky of AstroTran. Norm, uh, how would the folks uh, get in touch with you if they would like to learn more about the way you uh, show them the Astro stuff and look at their newsletter? You want to give them some information, please? Yes, sir. Got the free class that goes with the free letter. You get a free one-month subscription, and I give you a six-hour individual class a geared to your level of knowledge, and I'm going to teach you some Astro. You're going to learn some advanced Fibonacci mathematics, learn about fractal <coughs> forecasting, all this great stuff. And my 50 years of experience, I started learning, studying the stock market when I was a teen. I'm 67 now, and along the way there, I spent 12 years on the Chicago uh, CBOE and the Board of Trade as a, a market maker and a local at the Board <coughs> of Trade and just risking my own money. And I survived there for 12 years, so that must I must have, be, must have been off the luck here and known to figure out something, you know. So anyway, so you can get, learn all this, and uh, you know, I get I, if this stuff looks, you know, this <laughs> stuff looks complicated, but it's not really. I promise you, there's nothing in my letter or my work that if you that's you don't have to be smarter than a fifth grader. If you made it through grade school, 
you can do this. Yes, there's some language in here with the planets and stuff that you're not familiar with. You'll get you'll get used to that in a couple of days, and that'll turn out to be a, a big nothing. So anyway, it's very simple. We let the solar system think for us. If you start thinking, Larry, I think you'll agree. As soon as you start thinking in the markets, you're in trouble. So the <laughs> less you think, the better you will do. And uh, my system, we let the planets tell you when to look at different things, and it works very, very well. I average about a 75% win rate on my signals. So get a hold of me. There you go. I'm in sunny Florida, Naples, Florida, at 239-594-3939. There's my email. And Winsky at Embark with a Q in the middle there, E-M-B-A-R-Q-M-A-I-L.com. Or you can call me on Skype. And it's Norm Don Winsky. Get a hold of me right away before the end of the month so we can get you in the line for the next set of classes, which will be happening in early September. We have some Norm, big cycles in, too. Thanks a lot for being on, Norm. We'll have you on again soon. Norm Winsky of Astro Trend. Everybody have a wonderful day. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFN and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks!